Hamilton Mustangs, welcome to PE at Home. I'm your host, Mr. Weisfening. I look forward to having a great day with you as we move into our soccer skills with a NCAA tournament made specifically for you. We will go through our warm-up, our skills recap of shooting, our NCAA tourney, and then we're going to do our lesson review and a nice little cool down at the end. So to get you moving and grooving, galloping is where we're going to start. Want to just get that blood flowing, get those legs moving and grooving. Remember, at any point in time during the video, you can pause it, you can stop it, you can re rewind it, and you can go through these activities. I'm going to go through them a little bit faster than what you should. So you should do about 30 seconds of each of these warm-ups. The next one is jumping. Again, about 30 seconds, trying to get high with these and trying to get those calf muscles moving and grooving along with using your feet and getting up on your toes. Pause at any point in time that you need to. The next one after that is squats. You want to try to get down nice and low and keep your back straight on this one. With this, you are moving and grooving, trying to go and warm up all the muscles, especially the upper legs and your back and your body at the same time. Getting that heart to say thank you. Should do each of these for about 30 seconds. Here's a you choose it. You can either do starbursts in the red or you can do toe touches, windmill toe touches in the blue. If you're doing starbursts, you're going all the way down to crouch, jumping up and exploding just like a firework. If you decide to do toe touches, remember you alternate hands. That way you stretch out your back. So one hand goes up, the other hand goes across and down to touch your opposite toe. All right, time to go over our skills review. Shooting recap. For shooting, you want to go plant your foot beside the ball, and then you want to swing your foot like a pendulum or a swing on the swing set by going back, coming forward, and connecting. After you kick the ball, you follow through by letting your foot swing all the way up. Remember, try to use the side of your foot instead of the point of your foot. That way you won't hurt yourself and you have a flatter surface to aim better. The foot that you are planting with should point towards your target. So you see the first foot that I plant with right here, you should go and use that to point towards your target. Make sure you look down at the ball while you're kicking as well so you make good contact. All right, today you will be setting up a goal a few different ways. Now, as you go through this, if you find out that it's too hard or it's too easy, you can redo your whole NCAA tournament and you can change your goal size to make it more difficult or less difficult. Your options are three steps wide, four steps wide, five steps wide, and six steps wide. Notice the six step wide goal is very wide and is very easy. So for your first time through the tournament, do exactly what it says, and then the second time to, through, adjust it depending on your own level to make it so it's challenging but fun. The other thing that you can change is how far back you are kicking. You can either be 15 steps back or 10 steps back today. You notice how I used a marker, my shoe is where my line is. I marked it 10 steps back or 15 steps back. That's where you kick from every time. All right, time to go to our NCAA tournament, also known as March Madness. The reason why this term is put out there as March Madness is when they have the basketball tournament, it usually happens in March. And most tournaments kind of in the NCAA tournament accumulate to March Madness being one of the biggest ones because you have 64 teams that play against each other. So using that format, we're gonna play our soccer tournament this year. With this, the rules are simple. Complete the challenges as they appear. Beat the teacher and advance to the next round. So, Middleton Mustangs, your road to the final four. You have been selected as the number six seed in the East. Congratulations for round one. Being the number six seed, you will take on the number 11, Bemidji State Beavers out of Bemidji, Minnesota. To beat the Beavers, you will need to make 20 dribbles in a row without losing the ball. So see how I'm going back and forth, passing the ball from foot to foot without losing it. You have to do it 20 times without losing it to make it past the Bemidji State Beavers. Feel free to pause the tournament at any point in time and rewind if you need to. Congratulations to those of you that made it past Bemidji State. You are now going to take on the University of West Florida, the Argonauts, out of 
the panhandle of Florida, the Argonauts will go and require a different setup. You will be going 10 steps back from your goal and you're gonna make your goal five steps wide. Feel free to pause as you set this up. Notice what I used to go and set up my goal and how I marked where I'm kicking from. To beat the Argonauts, you need to make five goals from 10 steps away on a five foot goal. You can take as many shots as you want to, you just have to make five goals. Good luck. Congratulations to those of you that beat West Florida and are moving on to challenge the UWRF, otherwise known as River Falls, Wisconsin Falcons. You will be setting up your goal the same exact way, 10 steps back, five steps wide, but this time you only get 10 shots to make five out of them. So you get five that you have to make in. If you make five goals out of 10 shots, you will beat the UWRF Falcons. Congratulations to those of you that have moved on. You've won three games, you are on a roll, and it is time to take on Mr. Weisfenig's alma mater, the Minnesota State University Mavericks out of Mankato, Minnesota. They are the number one seed in the East. You will set up your goal 10 steps back and three steps wide. Again, it is only three steps wide this time, so your goal is getting smaller. You must make five out of 10 goals to beat the Minnesota State Mavericks and move on to the final four. Congratulations, you made it out of the Elite Eight and you are now in the final four. I am so excited to go and see how you do in this one. You will be taking on the Western Regional Champion, the Wisconsin Badgers. Bucky and the Badgers are gonna be quite challenging though to beat. With this one, you will be setting up your goal three steps wide and you will have to go and make it from 10 steps away, 15 out of 20 shots. So you have to make 75% of your shots. So set up your goal the way that you did for the last round, and to beat Wisconsin, you gotta make 15 out of 20 shots. Pause as needed. Congratulations, you've qualified for the national championship by knocking off Bucky and the Wisconsin Badgers. You will be facing the Minnesota Golden Gophers out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, who have knocked off Herky and the Iowa Hawkeyes. For this game, you will be setting up your goal three steps wide and 15 steps back. Again, 15 steps back and only three steps wide. So it's a narrow goal and you are moving further back. To make this even more difficult, you will have to make 17 out of 20 shots to beat the Golden Gophers. 17 out of 20. Congratulations on a great season. Let us know how you did. I hope you won the national championship. If not, I hope you went back and tried again. If it was too easy, remember you can move yourself back or make the goal smaller and try all the challenges again with a more difficult goal. All right, it is about that time to calm down. Find yourself a comfortable space. Let's get ready to relax. I want you to take some nice deep breaths. Breathe in and hold it. Then slowly exhale. Start breathing in again. Two, three, and hold it. And then slowly exhale. We'll do one more big, deep, long breath. Take it in. Hold it. And then slowly exhale. All right, now that we are calming down, I want you to think about what you did well today. Maybe you went and kicked the ball really well. You were planting your foot. You were connecting well with the ball. You were aiming well. And you were following through. Maybe you made it pretty far in the tournament. Think about the challenging skills that you worked on today. Because shooting can be challenging in and of itself. Now with those challenging skills, I want you to be proud of the work that you did. If you went through the tournament and it was too hard, but you tried it again, Maybe you got a little bit further in the second time or third time, fourth or fifth time. 
Maybe it was too easy and you and changed up the gold, made it smaller. Maybe you stepped further back. Maybe you did it outside in the elements. Be proud of the work that you do. As long as you give your best, that's what matters. And remember always to thank the people that help you. The people that put a roof over your head, that feed you, that get you up in the morning, that get you to your meetings on time, that help you find out where you need to be and how you need to get there. Thank those people. The people that when maybe played with you or worked with you or challenged you, give them a kudos and a thank you. They'll always be there for you and I hope that you know that we'll always be here for you. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Remember, it's a great day to be a must.